So this is a cool story from World War II that came out of a very brutal situation. This guy's name is Mario Tinelli. He was a fullback at Notre Dame who ran in the game-winning touchdown for Southern Cal in 1937. Fast forward five years later, he's taken prisoner by the Japanese in the Philippines. He becomes part of what's known as the Bataan Death March, which is a brutal 60-mile trek to a prisoner of war camp. At the camp, Tinelli neglects to hide his Notre Dame gold ring which he wore proudly on his finger. A Japanese soldier approached him and told him to hand over the ring. Tinelli initially refused, but finally handed it over after a friend whispered in his ear that no ring was worth dying over. Thinking the ring was gone for good, just moments later, a Japanese officer approaches him and asks him in perfect English if anybody took anything from him. Tinelli said, yes, my Notre Dame ring. The officer gave him the ring back and told him to hide it. Then he said, I was educated in America and I went to the University of Southern California. I remember you in the 1937 season and the game winning touchdown. I know how much the ring would have meant, so I wanted to get it back to you.